This lesson is on the process of photosynthesis. If you've already looked at the book and read the pages in there, you'll already know this equation. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next slide. And let's talk about the equation real quick. It takes sunlight, which is energy, plus water, which is H2O, and then carbon dioxide, which is CO2. Those three things put together, sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide, inside of a plant, the plant processes that and changes it into glucose, which is better known as sugar, which is pretty much the basis of almost everything we eat uh, for energy for ourselves. And then it also has oxygen. Now to a plant, the glucose it eats, it uses that for its own energy. Uh, the oxygen is a waste product and it breathes that out. It get, it, the plants get rid of the oxygen. So here's how the process actually works. We start with our CO2 and our H2O. The CO2 comes in through these little microscopic little holes in the leaves of the plants called stomata. They're really big in this picture. Here's uh, one of the stomata right here. Okay, They're really kind of big. It's uh, not that large in real life. You'll never actually see the stomata on a leaf, but they're there. The water comes up through the xylem, which is in the trunk of the tree, through the roots, into the trunk, into the little leaves and stems and stuff like that. Um, but they soak up all that water from the ground. That's what its roots do. So the water and the CO2 come together. Then we need some energy. Well, you guys all know that plants need sunlight to survive. The sun is actually the basis of all life on this planet. Uh, all life comes from uh, plants and uh, the animals and stuff are survived because they eat the energy that the plants store. Well, that energy comes from the sun. So the sunlight comes in with the water and the CO2. So you're probably asking, how does the uh, sunlight get into the plant? Well, that's what this little thing in the corner is. Up here in the corner, this is a plant cell. So it's one cell of an entire plant. And inside that plant cell are these little green uh, things here called chloroplasts. They have chlorophyll in them that turns them green. That's why most plants are, have a green to them. Uh, it traps the sunlight and uses that for energy. The energy uh, helps convert that CO2 and that H2O, the water and the carbon dioxide. As a result... Uh, the plant uh, produces uh, glucose, which we'll talk about in a sec, and gets rid of oxygen. So the oxygen leaves the plant and goes out to the world. And then that's what we use, actually, to breathe. So we have a, this great relationship between us and our plants of the world. The plant keeps the glucose, which goes back to the rest of the plant through the phloem tubes in the uh, leaves, the branches, and then the trunk, so that the rest of the tree can survive. Uh, just like you and me, we need food, we need energy to survive, uh, and we get that by eating proteins, we eat that by getting, eating sugar and fats and all these other good things. Well, a tree uses glucose to survive, and it produces that through this process called photosynthesis. So without photosynthesis, none of us would be alive because we wouldn't have any plants, which then produce all the food that we need, which you'll talk about in other lessons later on. So good luck. This is the drawing that you have to kind of copy and uh, add to as you, as you go, but make sure you uh, fill this out properly. All right, see you guys later. Made with DoodleCast Pro.